So Trout Unlimited has installed numerous rock structures throughout Grimes Creek to create complexity, um, oxygenate the water, and create create a habitat for fish. But there's all up and down for the next three miles we have rock structures put in and strategic locations or at least places that we could get a dozer down to do the work. So this is Lower Grimes Creek from where all of us were watering plants earlier today. And we put a lot of in-stream structures in, mostly for the fish, because the upstream facing bees behind me, there's two of them here, they create scour pools, so the deeper water places fish can hide and it's a little bit cooler. And there's resting rocks put in place as well for when we have the big spring flows. The water's down a bit now and it oxygenates the water of course wherever you can hear water and that's a good stream that means that it's getting oxygen and there's complexity in the stream and here's an example of rock barbs that we've put in place to take some of the energy off of the bank here where it was eroding and um, it pushes the creek back towards the center by deflecting uh, the current so that it's not rubbing right up against the side of the bank. That's another treatment that we use. And then some of these will end up to be installed as J-hooks. So they'll kind of provide double duty. This isn't a J-hook, but a J-hook would also create, create more of a scour pool for fish because of the shape of the barb is a J. And it just helps to flip the water more over into create a scour pool behind. This is kind of a bird's eye view of an upstream facing V and the scour pool that's aptly created right in the middle. You can see the action, the water oxygenating, and below it is a big rock that acts as a resting rock. So when the water's really cranking in the spring, the fish can rest behind that rock before they make their way up through the, through the rapid that's created and change the substrate on the bottom. I mean, this creek looked very different. Well, I'm going to show you another location where it's really apparent the change we did to the substrate by adding complexity to the creek. <laughs> 